Braille is a code that uses combinations of six dots to represent letters of the alphabet. The Perkins Brailler is a standard Braille keyboard. There are six main keys, one for each dot in the Braille cell. To type a Braille character, you press combinations of keys, or chords, at the same time. This machine is a PacMate, which is an electronic Braille note taker. It has the same six key corded keyboard as the Perkins Brailler, plus a few extra keys. This is how it works. E-R-A-I-L-L-E Previously, researchers at Georgia Tech adapted the Perkins Braille keyboard to touch screens. We've implemented a soft Braille keyboard on the Android platform. This is working as the main system keyboard right here, so I'm going to press a search button. And now I'm going to set the initial locations of the Braille, the six keys in the Braille keyboard. And now I'm going to type the word water. W A T E R. So this is what happens if my hands aren't in the correct position over the keyboard that I've set. W A T E R. This is the problem that we're going to address with our optimizations. In studies with blind users, we notice that people's hands tend to drift while typing on a touchscreen, which causes errors in their input. Our motivation in this project is to provide adaptive software solutions to improve the accuracy of Braille touch. To fix this problem, we implemented moving averages for the soft button locations, and here's how they work. First, I'll set a new keyboard, and now you'll see the buttons gradually approach my new hand position. Here's an example of the moving average in action. I'm going to type the word water. See how the dots moved closer to where my new keyboard position was automatically? Our second optimization involves an algorithm for predicting what the user meant to type. Every Braille input character contains between one and five touches. For example, the letter E and the letter I if the user's hand drifts around the screen, the machine will get confused about what character they actually meant to type. We developed an algorithm to determine the most likely word the user meant to type through only the number of touches for each character and a dictionary lookup of real words in the English language. For example, I'll type the word water correctly. W-A-T-E-R. Now I'm going to type the word water with the correct fingers and I'm going to move my hand around the screen and create the incorrect Braille characters based on other dots the machine thinks I'm hitting. W A T E R. Now here's the final implementation with both the moving average and the dictionary lookup optimizations. I'm going to type the word correct and make a mistake. When you try to type quickly, you tend to make mistakes. With these two strategies, we have successfully improved the accuracy of touch typing on a touch screen. Braille touch isn't just for touch screens or blind users. In the future, we may all be able to touch type on any flat surface without a visible keyboard.